little. Twelve year old Corey. Well down. That's good. And his twin sister Joni were born deaf, but they've been hearing nearly all their lives. It's called cochlear implant and it helps me hear. As Helen Keller said, blindness separates us from things, but deafness separates us from people. Today, they're getting a tune-up. So how's that sound? That's good. Okay. When they first heard, and they were just babies, their reaction was, it was really wonderful. So have you heard about that new movie coming out, Teen Beach Movie? Oh, yeah. As life-changing as cochlear implants have been for them, the devices are still far from perfect. The sound is muffled, dampened. They don't get the same span of sound as we normally would. So how's the simulation work going? With support for the National Science Foundation, biomedical engineer Pamela Bhatti and her team at Georgia Tech are working to improve the sound quality of these implants. I think that might be a little high. A cochlear implant is basically a small sound system. A microphone worn behind the ear picks up sounds that are sent wirelessly to an implant inserted in the cochlea, deep inside the ear. Um, the cochlea doesn't work, so the computer really kind of sends signals to the brain, which is what the cochlea is supposed to do. More specifically, the implant does what tiny hairs in the cochlea should be doing, converting sound waves into electrical signals that the brain can understand. Bati and her team have found a way to improve the audio quality of cochlear implants by building in more electrodes, which provide a wider range of frequencies. Instead of bundling electrodes by hand, they've developed thin film arrays of microfabricated electrodes, borrowing technologies used to manufacture integrated circuits. Their new design also makes it easier to insert. And our cable is appreciably thinner you also have the ability to potentially reduce the cost. And Bati says the cochlear implant they're developing is still being tested. It is designed to cover a broader spectrum to treat the type of low frequency hearing loss many, especially the rock and roll baby boomers, are experiencing from overexposure to loud noises. So better, smaller implants for more realistic sound quality. For those who depend on this kind of technology for hearing, it's music to their ears. Benissimo. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien. Uh -huh.